Welcome back. Here in Omaha, we don't get to see a wide variety of wild animals, but nobody in town knows them quite like Kip Smith with Wildlife Encounters. And Skip, thank you for joining us this morning. Oh yeah, thanks for having us back. Yeah, speaking of <laughs> wild encounters, I have one in my hand here. This oh, yeah. is a rose-haired tarantula. Yes. I yep. got it? Yeah, okay. perfect. Yeah, this is Charlotte. She's a rose-haired tarantula. Uh, actually, just very docile tarantula species. Usually we think of tarantulas being these mean, aggressive animals. Not true at all. Uh, these guys have these beautiful colors on them, yeah. and they're actually really friendly animals. Charlotte, well, I love that her name friendly. is Charlotte. Yes. yes. That's wonderful. <laughs> so you have another guest here as well. We do, yeah. Tell me a little bit about your guest. You can yeah. walk uh, over. Oh, yeah, I can wall. grab that guy for you. Do you want me to put the tarantula back? I mean, just, sure. We don't want like. her to try to play with it as no, a toy. No, she's pretty cool, though. You, you said, you yeah, said something want a about her exoskeleton, exoskeleton yeah. earlier. So yeah. why don't you they, tell me a little bit about that? They have yeah. a soft exoskeleton, so we have to be a little careful with these guys. That's sort of the table here. If they were to fall, they sure. actually kind of crack open like a water oh, balloon. Oh, wow. Uh, Interesting. It's not strong like a grasshopper or like a beetle or anything sure. like that. Very so, yeah, cool. Not that strong for those guys. Oh, my Our goodness. next guy. Prepare for the second guest. A little cuter than the tarantula. Adorable. Dakota, two years or two months old. Look, look at Dakota. <laughs> Isn't she precious? Yeah. Tell us She's, about Dakota. She came uh, from Minnesota. Yeah, she came from Minnesota. We're doing a kind of a socializing fostering program with her. So we're just taking care of her for the summer, and then she goes back to the zoo uh, where she was born. So we're getting her used to people, and she's super, super friendly. Uh, with coyotes, they're kind of these elusive animals. They're scared of humans in the wild. They don't want to be around us. So we're getting her used to people. So this way she kind of has a stress-free environment when she goes back to her home. She's absolutely <laughs> precious. Yeah. And, and this is an animal we have right here in Nebraska. You know, every single state in the United States, we have uh, coyotes besides Hawaii. How uh, cool. Extremely successful animal. And you have an event coming up at Warner Park, is that right? Yeah, we'll actually be at Storm Chasers game today. Uh, so people can come out, they can come see the animals, talk to us, ask any questions they may have. How yeah. cool. What animals yeah. are you planning on bringing? Uh, we have a whole bunch of different animals that we come to Storm Chasers today. Uh, we might actually have one of the coyotes come. Uh, we'll have the alligators, some snakes, yes. uh, an armadillo, possibly a parrot, uh, probably quite a few other animals too. We usually bring about like eight to ten different animals to Storm Chasers. Awesome. So, yeah, so and that's at two cool o'clock. People to. can come check us out there. Two o'clock today. And before yeah. we let you go, let people at home know where they can find more information if they want to learn. Oh yeah, they can check us out at wildlifeencounters.org. Uh, we're on Facebook, all the social media stuff too. Absolutely. <laughs> Lots of fun. Thank you for bringing Dakota and Charlotte. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Kip. Thank you, guys. We'll be back with your, in a moment with your TV schedule and an update to your Sunday afternoon forecast. This is First News Sunday from KTV News Watch 7. Cutie over here.